Welcome back to Harbaugh. The roundtable tonight's a big one. Joan Walsh of Salon.com, Amanda Carpenter of Townhall.com, and our own NBC Mike Vaccara up on Capitol Hill. Stalemate. The facts are simple. Senator Larry Craig pled guilty to a disorderly uh, conduct charge after his arrest, and now we heard all the uh, audio of this thing. Let's not go on too far with this. Let's go to Mike Vaccara for the political status report. Uh, John Ensign of Nevada made a statement today. Who else is talking about this man leaving the Senate? Well, you, you just reported that the RNC had put out a statement. A lot of people around town had been anticipating today that the RNC would do something. We had heard that they were holding a statement over the head of uh, Larry Craig today, like a sword of Damocles, uh, waiting for him to step down. And they finally released something that's somewhat less than we had anticipated, to tell you the truth, somewhat short of calling for a resignation. But John Ensign, a very significant statement, he runs the Senate campaign arm of the Senate Republican Campaign Committee. He's got 22 seats to defend this year, Chris, or next year, an election year in 2008. Uh, he's he uh, only only 12 or so Democrats. Ensign is trying to give a little cover here to some of these Republicans who have to come out four square against Larry Craig. We all know this story. It's the Mark Foley hangover of uh, Republican voters, very disaffected, values voters, disaffected at the way things have gone down with the corruption, with Abramoff, with Foley, now with Ted Stevens and other other people getting their houses raided. Sure, they point out there's Bill Jefferson and Alan Mullahan and others, but in the voters' minds, it's these, these top Republicans who, for the past year, Duke Cunningham, uh, with these incredibly sordid tales of corruption, Chris. And so Republicans very concerned, waiting for him to be shown the door. Larry Craig, they want him to step down. Amanda Carpenter, what's the word from the grassroots? Well, I mean, there's a lot of anger going on right now, but, you know, Larry Craig, he pled guilty to the crime. He should be held accountable for it. Um, right now, he's saying he didn't do it, but if you're a, you're a U.S. senator, you pled guilty to the crime, um, you need to be shown the door. I think Susan Collins is giving back campaign contributions from him. You know, he's being threatened with an ethics investigation. Um, he's not going to weather this. The truth of the matter is Republicans are generally culturally conservative. The people who vote Republican, especially from the, the part of the country that Larry Craig comes from. Do you have a sense, uh, Amanda, that they will begin a, a drumbeat here to make it happen? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is something, it's a terrible thing to come out like this, and it's even worse that he's lying about it if that's the case. You know, it's time to stand their ground. Just like they got rid of Mark Foley, they're going to have to get rid of Larry Craig. Let me go back to Joan here. Joan, to you for the first time, Joan Walsh, I do have a long political memory, and I do remember how the Republicans got this big giggle at their conventions, not just with the attack by the late Gene Kirkpatrick against, quote, San Francisco Democrats, but our, our colleague here, beloved as he is, Pat Buchanan, was got a, a lot of jollies out of the Republicans back in 92 in Houston when he talked about the Democrats being cross-dressers, and he meant it in a lot of ways. And I, uh -huh. I, I just find this interesting. Hypocrisy does loom here. Hypocrisy absolutely looms, Chris. You're absolutely right. I mean, what's happened is that the party, the Republican Party, has made itself the party of the bedroom police. They've gone after gays. They've snickered about San Francisco Democrats. And they went after Bill Clinton in a sexual kind of witch hunt. And so they've left themselves really open to charges of double standards. And I really want to say, you were great with Tom DeLay, but he is really lying about the extent to which they police their own. They have known about Larry. Larry Craig, going back to the 80s, Chris, you know that. I don't These know that. No, okay. you're, you're reporting something for me. How do These we just know that back in uh, 82, he issued an unsolicited denial of, of being gay? But I didn't know they knew about this kind of behavior at the Minnesota airport or the more recent uh, uh, claim by someone that he had another relationship based in that kind of situation. There have been rumors through oh, the rumors, 80s. But what do you do about rumors? Right. Well, but last year, Mike Rogers, uh, the Idaho newspapers began really documenting this. There's a pattern here. They've known about it. It came out before the 06 election. Were laws election. breaking? They, were, was this the first time? Let's try to find. The old rule, Joan, in the business used to be sex isn't enough to report. There has to be a plus. Right. It has to be a law broken, some major violation of public policy as exemplified by the person's record. The men's, restroom, the, the men's restroom stories have been out there. There has not been an arrest. I will, I will give you that. The arrest and the pleading guilty is brand new. But this has been known. And Mark Foley, come on, everybody 
already knew that Mark Foley was gay. Moreover, the Republicans left him alone. Denny Hastert was told about well, the Well, it's not an issue of Mark being gay. I mean, I figured no, he was, the, too. I know him a long time. Absolutely. But, you know, I didn't I didn't think that was criminal, and I certainly didn't think it was a, root, a reason for either party to dump a member. It's the preying on the pages, and they knew about those complaints by that, parents, okay, by children, too. I'll give you they that. They knew about it. They but I didn't know they up. knew about that, but apparently the leadership staffers the leadership, knew about it. They absolutely did. The okay. leadership staffers did, and Hastert was told as well. They, people testified under oath. So there's there's incredible hypocrisy where they use yeah. this issue, they bash gay people, and then they they cover up gay behavior and, and criminal behavior, and then okay, they show them run. the door. I got a word for us all. Rap.